Hello, my name is Michelle. I am a full-time reseller on Posh and eBay, and today I am doing a video on the things that I picked up the last couple days to resell. So let's get into it. No intro needed. The first couple of items are bras. I pick up bras. I have about 200 listings. I pick all sizes up. And the thing about bras, you need to make sure that they are clean and like new. However, I do still wash them. You need to make sure that the wires are still in them. You need to make sure that there's not staining or rips or pulls underneath here. And you need to make sure that the wires or wires, the metal, the hardware is not pulled or stretched out of shape. This one here is a Victoria's Secret bra. Um, Victoria's Secret does a lot better than Victoria's Secret pink. And this is the lightly lined demi in size 34 triple D. Um, Victoria's Secret bras, I think, run between $50 and $60, so I do like to pick them up. They sell between $20 and $25, so that's the first item. The second bra is by a brand called Tommy John. It's, I think Instagram made it, made it popular, and it's a pull-over-the-head style. It does have a high lift because of, you could, the higher lift you need is you just, this is all you need to do. Um, just make this nice and tight, and as this is tight, it's going to push things up and so this is a pull over the head style front back and it is a size 38 C that's what that looks like and I'm not really sure what they return um, what they resell for because it's a new to be brand I think I picked it up only once but it's been a while next is some Vince trousers like a beige with a tiny little pinstripe. Vince size eight. I rarely find this brand in the area that I live in, but when I do, I like to pick it up. It is just bread and butter. They retail for a very lot. They don't sell for too much unless it's a very current piece. So I'll probably list them for probably about 40, size eight. Next we have is a Lily Pulitzer little t-shirt dress. I do always tend to pick up Lily. The newer styles do a lot better with spring coming in a few months, size medium, beautiful, cute, stretchy fabric, cotton, 10% spandex, 90% cotton. So pretty, love picking up Lily, love finding Lily. Again, it retails for over 100, but I will probably get about 40. Next is a couple pairs of jeans. These are the American Eagles, and I try to pick up American Eagles. People look for them all the time on the secondhand market. Again, it's just bread and butter. Um, you don't get a whole lot, but it's nice to pick them up secondhand. And these are size six long. And they are called, you turn them around this way in the front and then you get to see what it says embroidered. And these are the artist flare, which is very popular right now. So there you have those. Nothing wrong with them, look good. Next we have a Rockin' Republic. Rock and Republic jeans. They're cuffed. They're really cute. They're dark denim. They're coming off a little bit light on camera and they are size. There we go. They're the Berlin style. 10 medium. 10 mediums. The Berlin style. They have stretch like the American Eagle. And a way to find out whether the jeans are for curvy figures, I've found that when you're holding them straight like this, if the back goes up, the higher the back goes up, the jeans, they'll accommodate a bigger booty, basically. Whereas if this part is super low, which it's not, they would be more low rise. Another indication is whether the zip, how thick and long the zipper is. When the zippers are really short, they tend to sit lower but underneath the belly button. So those are key factors when looking um, for yourself. Next, we have another pair of American Eagle jeans. And these look like boot cut. Let's see if they're boot cut. This is what they look like. And they are a size eight medium. And they are the kick boot. Kick boot. Size eight regular. American Eagle tends to accommodate curvy figures. So they're a very, very good brand. Nice, lo a, a lot of stretch, a lot of stretch. Next we have 
a Lambs N 3X pullover velour tunic mock neck. And I do love to pick up Lambs N. Bread and butter, very, very soft, luxurious fabric. Stretchy pullover, long. Um, let's see. That looks like a 32 inch length. And it will probably accommodate up to a 58 to 60 inch bust. So that is just gorgeous. Lambs End is known for their sporty, athletic, not athletic, but sporty uh, apparel, but they have a lot of cute stuff out and they're always well made. All right, so next we have a pair of vintage gloves. These are probably from the 30s or 40s, maybe 50s if they were still wearing gloves, but it's very rare that I find new with tag gloves. And when I do, I always like to pick them up. These ones are called Miss Eris, white gloves with lace. And they say, what size? They say on here, one size fits all. So do the, does one size fits all, let's see. Nope, I can't get my hand in there. One size does not fit all. Um, let me see if there's a size tag in there. Sometimes with vintage gloves, there's a size tag in, oh, here we go. So it says Miss Eris, size seven and a half to eight. And how gloves usually, they usually go by this. I'm a size six and a half wrist, wrist, so technically my wrist should technically fit that, but my hand doesn't, so there you have it. Next, we're going, I brought a few pairs of shoes. These ones are a, I can't pronounce that brand, but it's a very practical, I'm not going to butcher the brand. Um... They're just practical, they're not nothing special, but they retail for a lot. They have excellent arch support, like Dansko or Sass. There's the name of them, which I think there's a glare. Like new, they don't look like they were ever worn, size 36, suede. I have now way. Made in Portugal. Okay. Okay, Antonio Molina, Milana, nude pumps, flats, excuse me, point toe, genuine suede, beautiful nude color, and size nine. They have a leather bottom. They're so pretty, and I think this is called the Dior Say, when it has a cutout on the side, and just a little bit of your foot shows. Beautiful, beautiful condition. No toe wear. I mean, just no wear except for a slight on the bottom. Next is S. Edelman. I think of Sam Edelman, although if they're Sam Edelman's, Sam Edelman tends to be really trendy, and these look, these might have been trendy like in the 90s. Kind of boho. I picture them with a long, flowy uh, broomstick, broomstick skirt. Just, they're, they're beautiful. They are really, really pretty. Um, they're just not trendy. S. Edelman, and see the face on there? And they're just beaded, which technically you could take those beads off. I don't know why you'd want to, but. And they are leather, and they are size leather upper. Where is the size? I am not seeing this. Oh, here we go. They're a 10 medium. So with shoes selling, I do sell a lot of shoes. I have several hundreds listed, nine bins full. When buying shoes, first I give them the shoe test. That's very, very important to do the shoe test because there's many times the shoe test is simply just grabbing it and bending it. Sometimes you bend it and the whole sole falls right off and obviously you don't get those ones because the last thing you want to do is sell a shoe that looks in new condition and as someone's wearing it, the sole falls off, which when I first started reselling many, many years ago, I did buy a pair of shoes. I sold them. They looked new, did not know about the shoes test. And the lady um, got a full refund because she said she was at work walking and the sole fell off. Very embarrassing. So that is what those look like. That's the shoe lesson. Next is some Minnetonkas. Minnetonkas. Again, just bread and butter. Again, shoe, these shoes are so well made. The boots sell a lot better than the shoes, but I can't leave the shoes behind. They are a size eight, and that is what they look like. They're your standard. When buying something like this, make sure that there's no holes right here, that the 
sewing is still you know nice and firm again I still did the shoe test but there you have that those are size 8 by Minnetonka and then my best find was probably these Doc Martens love finding Doc Martens you do got to be careful running through Google imaging do your research to get familiar with the brand because there are some fakes out there these are very heavy substantial they're like new condition if you find the ones that are made in England, because they're no longer made in England, they're worth a lot more. So I do love to pick these up. And these are a size nine. Genuine leather, flap over, and that is how those look. One more pairs of shoe, and these are Sam Edelman. So maybe the other ones, S. Edelman, are Sam Edelman, but just an older style. But this is your classic gold Sam Edelman, excuse me, pointy flats. Again, nude color, good condition. They're bread and butter too. They sell, they'll probably sell for 30. Size 10, leather, nude, point Sam Edelman flats. And then the last thing I found this weekend was a new with tags Lulu's dress. I only pick up Lulu's if it is new with tags. It doesn't retail for a whole lot of money, but they do sell well. People use them for prom, bridesmaid, bridesmaid dresses and such. Full length, just gorgeous. Full length chiffon, long full length slip. Better quality dresses will have the full length slip under. Where lower quality uh, dresses, they just go to the knee and then they cut costs by only going to the knee. But if you want a nice dress, splurge and get one that has a full slip. <laughs> Zips up the back, boning on the side, no underwire, but should accommodate an A or B chest. And this is what the tag looks like. It is size medium. Okay. Again, adjustable straps. Step in style, zips up the back. Just beautiful. So, and it's a nude color. It actually would go quite well with the nude shoes. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.